oral sex is not foreplay. It's already sex. She needs to be warmed up for that. If you want to know what foreplay truly is for a woman, what she actually needs, then stick around. Hey my love, it's Magda Kay here. Welcome to my channel, the place for you to get all the tips, insights and inspiration to create and enjoy the most fulfilling intimate life. Anytime I say that oral sex is not foreplay, it usually shocks men. Now look, this may be foreplay for you, but it's not for her. For her, this is already sex. So if you give her oral sex too early, her body will tense, which means she is not going to enjoy lovemaking with you as much as if she did receive proper foreplay. So you have to understand female body works a little bit differently than yours. And the most important element in female sexuality is the feeling of safety. So she needs to be fully relaxed to truly enjoy being with you. So if you touch her too early, her body contracts and it's really hard for her to let go and really feel pleasure. So the role of foreplay is to relax her nervous system. Foreplay is there for a female body to communicate. You're safe. You can just drop in and enjoy yourself. So foreplay for you, it's more about engaging your genitals and bringing up the arousal. For a woman, foreplay is not about that. Once you start touching her body in a sexual way, for her, this is already part of sex. Again, foreplay is everything before that so that she can truly enjoy her time with you. And when you do engage in the actual foreplay, as a reward, you're getting her full presence. She's going to really enjoy herself. She will be more open to you, more receptive, more surrendered, and she will be able to have an orgasm much easier. Or in fact, she may have full body, multiple orgasm, for which she has to be relaxed. So then you may be asking yourself, then what is foreplay? Okay, let me share with you three essentials. Number one, so she needs to be thinking about sex throughout the day. So this is where men and women differ. You can be really focused on your work and then boom, suddenly now it's time for sex and you're all ready. For a woman, that's not really going to happen. Expecting her to go through her day and then you're back home and suddenly be in the mood for sex, it's like expecting snow in summer. Sometimes it happens, but I wouldn't really count on that. So with women, it's really important that you keep planting the seeds for affection and intimacy way before you actually want to come together. So this may look like sending her messages throughout the day. You can send her some compliments, you can make it naughty and send her nudes, or message her something like, I cannot wait to see you home tonight, I'm gonna pin you to the wall and just take you. You know, make it as naughty and as passionate as you want. But you gotta have those little interactions throughout the day, reminding her that she's a sexual being and that you desire her. Okay, the second essential is that foreplay really begins at the end of the last lovemaking. Women remember things. We pay attention to details. Hey, I don't have to tell you this, you know that. So how you treat her right after sex really matters. Are you embracing her? Are you present with her? Are you available for conversation? Or do you just leave her and go to sleep or you leave because you have something else to do? So how you end lovemaking hugely impacts how much she will wanna have sex with you the next time. But then it's also all the things in between. So if you have sex with her and you can be the most loving lover, but then you just kind of abandon her because you're busy with other things, and then suddenly you pop up again in her life ready for sex, nah, she's not gonna feel very excited about this. So honestly, the best foreplay is for you to be a good partner. 
And then essential number three. So now we're getting together and you guys are physically interacting. And there is one thing you need to understand about a female body that will make all the difference when it comes to quality of the experience for her. So before you have sex with her, you gotta engage her whole body. And I do mean her whole body. So one of my tantric teachers used to say that you need to kiss or touch every part of her body because if you don't, that part of the body will not be taking part in lovemaking. So if you forget about the little finger, that little finger will not be present. So I want you to really think of it as inviting every centimeter of her body to have sex with you. And you do it in a gentle way touching her, embracing her, uh, kissing her, whispering lovely things into her ears, inviting her whole body, and only then you touch her breasts or her genitals. Remember, if you touch her genitals too early, her body will contract. So it's almost like you touch a part of the body and you say, hey, you're safe, it's okay, you can relax, I'm gonna take care of you. And then you move to the next part of her body. Now, I understand that you may be thinking right now, goodness, who has time for that? Look, I want you to look at something. As a man, how would you feel if on date one, I started asking you about your emotions and how do you feel about me? And you know, what kind of marriage do you want? You'd be like, whoa, okay, let's slow down, right? This doesn't feel good. Give me like some time to first open up and get to know you. So there are moments in life when you need your type of foreplay because otherwise things seem too fast. Now guess what? Opening up emotionally on a very deep level is very easy for women. We don't need emotional foreplay. You need emotional foreplay. Just like you don't really need much of sexual foreplay, but we do. So please don't judge her through the lens of what you need sexually. Judge her through what she needs. Understanding that, yes, she's asking you for more time here, just like you are asking her for more time in another part of your life. When it comes to women, the more you give, the more you will receive. Just like a rose cannot blossom in the middle of a pavement without enough water, without enough soil, without enough sunlight, your woman cannot blossom without the right foreplay. And these three tips that I gave you in this video will guarantee that she receives everything she needs to relax, be fully present, and have the best lovemaking with you. So my love, I hope that you found value in this video. And if you did, please give it a like. I also really, really hope that you are going to try these three tips. And let me know in the comments section below. What do you think about it? Have you ever tried any of this? What other tips for foreplay do you have for other men that has really worked well for you? And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this video and if you would like more videos like that. Oh, and don't forget to follow me on Instagram as well, where I share even more. Thank you so much for being here, and I hope to see you next week. Bye!